Main event is sponsored by Howler Head. Khabib Nurmagomedov is 32. Justin Gaethje, 31 years of age. Gaethje, the taller man by an inch. Both fighters coming in right at the 155-pound championship limit. Both fighters with an identical reach of 70 inches. With all of that, to get you ready for the main event, we turn it over to Bruce Buffer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Sidar, Ben Cartledge, Derek Cleary, and Sal Diamato. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Jason Herzog. This championship bout is sponsored by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. And Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War. Unravel a conspiracy decades in the making, available November 13th. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've truly all been waiting for. Live from UFC Fight Island in Abu Dhabi, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record, 22 wins, two losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, by way of Safford, Arizona, USA, presenting the interim UFC lightweight champion, the challenger, Justin, the highlights, and now introducing the champion fighting out of the red corner an undefeated mixed martial artist holding a perfect professional record 28 wins no losses he stands five feet ten inches tall weighing in at 155 pounds fighting out of dagestan russia presenting the reigning defending ufc lightweight champion of the world Khabib the eagle Okay, fighters gone over the rules in the back. There were no final question from you, Blue. There were no final question from you, Red. You've already touched gloves. Come out ready to fight. Talk to me, DC. Big fight feel, man, in Abu Dhabi. Everyone knows this is the toughest fight, the best fight at 155 pounds, and we are finally here. We will see who is the champion. Can Justin Gaethje get it done, or does Khabib remain the champ and the dominant force in the division? Khabib in his usual role as betting favorite, minus 315. Justin Gaethje is plus 250. Gaethje is in blue with the gold trim. Khabib is in the black and gold befitting a champion. The weight ends for this epic title unification bout. We shall see who has the upper hand. Khabib pretty relaxed, man, having a moment with you before the fight. Yeah, man, you know, this is a big time fight, you know, but this guy's been here before. But this is the range that Justin needs to be at. You see how he's far away to where if Habib does change levels, Justin can defend and see it coming. I really do believe that this is one of the keys to why Justin has made the improvements that he's made. Is that he, look at his footwork, look at his movement. He's never stationary. He's a moving target now. He's not just a zombie trying to walk guys down and make him fight him in a uh, firefight. That's a good point, especially one to make early. There are layers to his game, a lot of setups, and he has impeccable timing with that right hand. We'll see if he can find a home for it tonight. And the kicks. You know, Habib has to try to close the distance here. But you cannot be reckless with a guy that has dynamite in his hands like Justin Gaethje. Anthony Davis chiming in, watching UFC 254 at home. Big right hand from Khabib lands and a nice counter shot from Gaethje. 
And when you get an athlete like Habib Nurmagomedov, you know, at times they want to prove that, wait, I'm not so outclassed in this one area of a fight. I can stand. But the moment Justin believes this is a stand-up fight, that is when he's going to try to change levels and get to the legs. You notice Gaethje stands a little lower today, opposed to the Ferguson fight. Mm. Before he was very tall, but right here you see him almost in a lower stance, more of a wrestling stance. Nice jab lands for Nurmagomedov. About two minutes have gone by. There's that patented leg kick from Gaethje. Nurmagomedov has a fantastic jab, man. That pace and pressure of Habib is what separates him from most guys. Justin's going to have to be able to stay with this. Gaethje has successfully thwarted the first takedown attempt of Nurmagomedov, who touches the toes to the body there. On that and clearly for Trevor Whitman they want him to attack that furiously tonight yeah and told him to slow it down right it's the same message we heard in the Ferguson fight slow it down you don't need a rush but Habib wants this pace to be very fast you could see him telling Jason Herz Herzog let's go let's go let's go as the second round started leg kick for Nurmagomedov now a combination appear to partially land Left hand behind the ear lands yep. for Gaethje. Beautiful footwork there by Gaethje. He's kind of circling into the power of Nurmega Medoff. He's got to be careful going to his left. Another leg kick. Did that, that, one seemed, yeah, that. that one seemed to hurt the champ a little bit. You saw Habib take a bad step after that leg kick landed. And now Gaethje goes inside and lands. Nurmago Medoff back to the well with that front kick. gets the back wow right into the full mount i mean that was a fantastic transition with a lot of time he's gonna go right back to the same position oh he's going triangle here setting up triangle into the arm bar oh triangle choke by nomega metal oh as gaethje goes that shot oh it's up it's up he's tapping it looks like he with the beautiful triangle choke finish. I mean, you never know what he's going to pull out next. Justin Gaethje tapped a long time ago. Rev didn't jump in and he went to sleep. But wow, what a performance by the...